Navigation satellites circle the Earth to help guide airplanes, ships, and cars, but they can also help guide you to discover treasure. Find out about geocaching. Looks like the first cache is this way. Barrett, Victoria, and their parents, Matt and Stephanie, are on an adventure at Equal Island State Park. I think it's there this way more. They're geocaching, and they can do it because of the Global Positioning System, or GPS. GPS is a network of 30 satellites, ground stations, and receivers. Tracking stations send radio signals to the GPS satellites, and at the same time, the satellites send their time and locations back to Earth. In 2000, a group of people started hiding trinkets all over the world and letting others know where those caches were by using a website. Later, the same folks started giving the cache locations on an app. And so began the game of geocaching. No. I think we're getting a little bit too far. I think we're getting further away. From I think we need to turn over here. Using information from GPS satellites, the geocaching app on the Hofstetter's phone guides the family toward one of those hidden caches. I found it. Hey, good job. The caches are usually containers, sometimes quite small, that often hold a piece of paper listing everyone who's found it. We'll have to write our name on one of these. Sweet. Good job, guys. Good work. Thank you. Okay. We should go find the next cache. Looks like it's all the way on the other side of the park. I know a fun way to get there. Come on. Let's go. Ready, set, go! Okay, then, then, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good job with the idea in zip lining, Tori. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think the other one geos this way. So just how does your phone and the GPS satellites know where you and the hidden cache are? Well, there's a special chip in your phone that computes your location using what's called triangulation. The phone receives signals from at least three different GPS satellites and then calculates where you are on the Earth based on the small differences between the signals from the different satellites. The geocaching app can then compare your location with the cache's location to tell you how far you are away from the cache. How much further? Um, about 80 feet. All right. But while you know roughly where the cache is, the cache can still be hidden in a log, under trees, or in bushes, so you have to search for it. What was the hint again? Uh, the hint is along the fence line. Oh, yeah, I, ah, I see it. it. Oh, nice, Bert. Good job. Wow. Nice. This one's a lot bigger than the last one, huh, guys? Yeah. Mm, look at all the stuff in there. There's papers, a little walkie-talkie, and a little elephant. Ah. And all the papers and the dog change. You know, we should probably do the swap. Yep, let's trade this. What do you want to pick, Tori? You guys want? Let's do the elephant. Nice, all right. Well, now let's go put the rest of that stuff back in there. Close it Close it up and we can rehide it and move on to the next. There are some basic rules to geocaching. Always explore safely. Observe all laws and rules and respect private property. Minimize your impact on the environment and be considerate of others. If you take something from a cache, put something in to replace it and always sign the log so others know you were there. Note on the app that you found or didn't find the cache and be sure to put the cache back where you found it. And finally, don't let the muggles know what you're doing. And yes, they call people who are not geocaching muggles. Keeping it secret is part of the fun of searching for hidden treasure. Here it is. Okay, we'll sign our name and then we'll go have some lunch. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. All righty. Okay, let's How's put it the... back. Mm -hmm. so it's been fun geocaching. What's your uh, what's your favorite thing about geocaching so far, Victoria? 
Um, my favorite thing about geocaching is that it's like an Easter egg hunt that you go to find something and then there's something in it and it's a surprise. Yeah. Okay, yes. well, we'll finish our snack and we'll go to the last one. Yeah? Okay. Sounds good. We're gonna see you head out. I wonder if it's big or small. We'll find out. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.